Welcome to our channel, where we take a closer look at the world of mixed martial arts and the ultimate fighting championship. Today, we'll be exploring some of the rarest and most spectacular knockouts in UFC history. From spinning back fists to flying knees, these finishes are not only hard to come by, but they also showcase the incredible skill and athleticism of the fighters who compete in the UFC. So, without further ado, let's get started. At UFC 142, Edson Barboza delivered one of the most jaw-dropping knockouts in UFC history. In the third round of his fight against Terry Etim, Barboza unleashed a spinning wheel kick that landed on Etim's chin, sending him crashing to the mat in a heap. The impact of the kick was so devastating that Etim was knocked out cold before he even hit the canvas. The fight was immediately stopped and Barboza was declared the winner by knockout. Barbosa's knockout of Etim is widely regarded as one of the most spectacular finishes in UFC history. It was a testament to Barbosa's incredible striking ability and his willingness to take risks inside the octagon. In fact, the knockout was so impressive that it earned Barbosa the Knockout of the Year award from multiple MMA media outlets. In November 2018, Yair Rodriguez pulled off one of the most improbable knockouts in UFC history. Facing Chan Sung Jung in the main event of UFC Fight Night 139, Rodriguez found himself trailing on the scorecards heading into the final round. With just seconds remaining in the fight, Rodriguez launched a desperate upward elbow that landed flush on Jung's chin, knocking him out cold. The knockout was not only incredible in its execution, but also in its timing. With just one second left on the clock, Rodriguez managed to pull off a finish that will go down in history as one of the greatest knockouts of all time. The win cemented Rodriguez's status as one of the most exciting fighters in the UFC and earned him a performance of the night bonus. At UFC 239, Jorge Masvidal set a new record for the fastest knockout in UFC history. Facing former Belator and one welterweight champion Ben Askren, Masvidal wasted no time in getting to work. As soon as the fight started, Masvidal sprinted across the cage and launched a flying knee which then landed flush on Askren's chin, who was setting up for a takedown, sending him crashing to the mat. The impact of Masvidal's knee was so devastating that Askren was knocked out before he even hit the canvas. The fight was immediately stopped and Masvidal was declared the winner by knockout in just 5 seconds. Masvidal then went on to mock Askren by tapping the floor next to the unconscious Askren, adding insult to injury. The knockout was not only impressive for its record-breaking speed, which might never get broken again, but also for the bad blood between the two fighters leading up to the fight. Loyoto Mashida's knockout of Randy Couture at UFC 129 was not only one of the most unique knockouts in UFC history, but it was also a defining moment in Mashida's career. At the time of the fight, Couture was a five-time UFC champion and widely regarded as one of the greatest fighters in MMA history. Mashida, on the other hand, was a rising star in the light heavyweight division, known for his elusive karate-based striking style. Throughout the first round of the fight, Couture attempted to close the distance on Mashida and take him down to the mat. But Mashida's footwork and movement made it difficult for Couture to get a hold on him. In the second round, Mashida saw a gap in Randy's defense. As Couture was just outside of Mashida's reach, Mashida threw a front kick that landed flush on Couture's chin, sending him crashing to the mat. The win earned Mashida a knockout of the night bonus and solidified his place as one of the most dangerous strikers in the UFC's light heavyweight division. The fight between Gabriel Gonzaga and Mirko Krokop at UFC 70 is widely regarded as one of the most brutal knockouts in UFC history. At the time, Krokop was considered one of the best strikers in MMA and had gained a reputation for his devastating head kicks. 
Gonzaga, on the other hand, was a relatively unknown fighter in his fourth UFC fight. In the first half of the first round, Gonzaga was winning the fight on the ground, but Krokop managed to get back to his feet without producing many results thereafter. With just seconds left in the round, Gonzaga saw an opportunity and threw a right high kick that landed flush on Krokop's temple, sending him crashing to the mat. The impact of the kick was so devastating that Krokop was knocked out cold and the fight was immediately stopped. What made the knockout even more impressive was that Gonzaga defeated Krokop with his own weapon of choice, the high kick. The win earned Gonzaga a shot at the UFC Heavyweight Championship. Matt Hughes versus Carlos Newton at UFC 34 is remembered as one of the most unusual finishes in UFC history. The two fighters were competing for the UFC Welterweight Championship and the fight had been close up until the middle of the second round. In the second round, Newton locked in a triangle choke on Hughes, which is one of the most dangerous submissions in MMA. Hughes appeared to be in trouble and was struggling to escape from the hold. But in a move that stunned the crowd, Hughes lifted Newton up and slammed him to the mat, knocking him out in the process. The win earned Hughes his second UFC welterweight championship. Nico Price's knockout of James Vick at UFC Fight Night 161 in 2019 is widely considered to be one of the most spectacular finishes in UFC history. The knockout, which came after just two minutes into the first round, was a contender for knockout of the year and demonstrated Price's incredible striking ability. Vic, who had lost his last three fights by knockout, found himself in trouble early in the fight. With Price on his back in full guard, Vic attempted to stand up and gain a better position. But in doing so, he left himself vulnerable to Price's right leg. Price seized the opportunity and threw a powerful upkick that landed flush on Vic's jaw. The impact of the kick was so powerful that Vic was knocked out cold and the fight was immediately stopped. Gary Goodridge's knockout of Paul Herrera at UFC 8 is widely considered to be one of the most unique and obscure finishes in UFC history. The fight, which marked the MMA debut of both fighters, lasted just 13 seconds, but featured a sequence of events that would go down in UFC folklore. In the first round of the UFC 8 tournament, Herrera and Goodridge, two mat-based fighters, looked to be evenly matched. Herrera attempted a takedown, but Goodridge quickly countered by rolling him and locking both his arms across his legs and chest. It was at this point that Goodridge seized the opportunity and delivered a series of brutal elbows to the side of Herrera's head. The elbows came in quick succession, with Goodridge landing a total of eight blows in just a few seconds. The impact of the elbows was so devastating that Herrera was knocked out cold, and the referee was forced to intervene and stop the fight. Anthony Petty vs. Stephen Thompson at UFC Fight Night 148 is remembered for one of the most spectacular knockouts in UFC history. The two fighters faced each other in the main event of the card, and Thompson was considered the favorite, having previously held a 57-0 kickboxing record and a reputation as a master of karate. In the early stages of the fight, Thompson appeared to be in control, utilizing his karate style and keeping Petty at bay with his long-range strikes. Petty, who was coming off a bloody loss to Tony Ferguson at UFC 229, struggled to find his rhythm. However, in the final seconds of the second round, Petty delivered a Superman punch that stunned the crowd and sent Thompson crashing to the mat. The punch, which was thrown with incredible speed and precision, landed flush on Thompson's jaw and left him unconscious. Joaquin Buckley's knockout of Impa Kasengane at UFC Fight Night Moraes vs. Sandhagen on October 11, 2020 is widely regarded as one of the most spectacular knockouts in UFC history. In the second round of the fight, Kasengane caught Buckley's kick and attempted to take him down. 
As Buckley's back was about to be countered, he spun and threw a powerful spinning back kick that landed flush on Kasangane's chin. The knockout quickly went viral and was shared widely on social media, with many fans and pundits calling it one of the greatest knockouts in UFC history. The technique and precision of the spinning back kick were simply astonishing, and the fact that it came in the heat of the moment made it all the more impressive. Thanks for tuning in! If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more!